I think there might be a car coming. I really hope there isn't a car coming, because that's going to be super annoying. Anyway, hello and welcome back to The Lion's Den. I'm your host, Matt, as always, and I am recording in my car, but I've got my pop filter, baby, because, yes, I can use my pop filter in the car. It's got a whole G-clamp style system, or a C-clamp, whichever type of clamp, uh, which means that I can precariously position my microphone and then put the pop filter in front of it. So this is actually going to sound, hopefully, pretty decent. Um, but let's get into it then. This is actually a recounting week, uh, telling you about the things that happened during the week. So we'll start off with, I think it was Thursday. Thursday I went out for my, uh, weekly meal deal, because normally what I would do is on a Tuesday I would go for my weekly meal deal because the family would be having egg and grass sandwiches. I don't like mashed up hard boiled egg, it's disgusting personally in a sandwich, but hey ho. But I was working in the office on Tuesday, so I made a sandwich and took it with me because sandwiches elsewhere are kind of expensive. So instead on Thursday, when they all went out to have meals, because they were all off and I was still working, I said, okay, well I need something for lunch because we're not opening a whole tin of tuna just for me. I'm gonna go out and buy food, so off we go on our adventure. Now, first thing is, I, uh, I'm leaving the estate that I live in, walking onto the main hill where everything else happens, and I literally just hear a blood-curdling scream of a woman in a house nearby. And I looked, and I think there was someone else nearby that also possibly heard and looked, and then I kept on walking. Um, I'd like to say that I was being the superheroic person, and I burst down the door and ran in and tried to see what the situation was and help whoever was there, but no, I'm, I'm not that. I am not a big, burly, strong man who can just enter rooms and not have any problems, so hopefully they're all right. I, I'm not entirely sure. I think, um, I think it wasn't a problem. Maybe they just got scared by someone creeping around the house, or maybe they saw a cockroach or something. I'd probably scream if I saw a cockroach. I scream when I see wasps, generally, because me and wasps do not have a good relationship. But that wasn't the only thing that happened on my wonderful journey, just to buy food from a supermarket. So I went up, got the food I wanted, was walking back, all fine and dandy, no problems there. And the the fun thing was what I then found on the side of the road. So, you know, we're in the digital age, right? Everybody has smartphones and computers and uh, nobody's really using physical media. So what do I find on the side of the road? A VHS tape, but specifically for Cinderella, you know, the best Disney film apparently. Um, so if anybody wants a Cinderella VHS tape, you'll have to go back a couple days to Thursday, and specifically by the side of the road where I found that VHS tape. I took a photo, so if I can be bothered to try and edit this video, I'll stick it on screen now, just because I thought it was quite funny. But anyway, moving on, that was a, a, a fun day, I'll be honest. Now, I'm looking at my notes here, and I'm a little confused, because one of the things on here is phone save. And I have absolutely no idea what that is in relation to. No idea what that's in relation to. So I suppose we'll move on to the uh, the next thing on my list, which is haircuts. And, oh, oh my goodness. I never realised that haircuts could be just a, a mess of social anxiety, planning, and just, I don't know, general, like, nervousness and fear. So... For context, I suppose, whilst I was at home, my parents had a friend who did their own sort of hairdressing business. They would go out to clients' houses, give them a haircut at a pretty decent rate compared to, you know, your standard barbershop. Um, and they were friends, so they would always come and do our hair, all of us in one go. I used to hate haircuts when I was a kid. I would literally kick and scream and probably be crying by the end of it. Don't know why, particularly. It's just a haircut. But then the funny thing is, as I got older, I slowly realised how much utility I get out of a haircut. So specifically for me, I I much prefer having shorter hair. If I have really long hair, and by really long, it's not long, it's just long compared to what I'm used to, it's just annoying. I have to like shower constantly because if I have it greasy and then I wake up in the morning after sleeping in a funny position, it sticks up and you can't do anything with it. It's unruly to try and style and it kind of makes me look uh, messy and whatnot. So I much prefer having short hair. So haircuts have become... uh, a necessary evil, if you will, because they're still not the most fun things to get. But yeah, so I had haircuts at home. I never had to really think about it. They were arranged and whatnot and sorted, so I just had to appear and get a haircut. When I was at university, obviously, I couldn't go three months without having a haircut. That would be torture to myself, so I ended up having to get used to going to barber shops, which honestly is really not that big of a problem. Problem is trying to tell them what it is you want. 
So the first place I went was cheap for students. It was a um, like a tenner, I think. So that's why I went and got a pretty nice haircut. It was a lot shorter than I expected, but you know, I kind of I went with it. I digged it. My parents were like, "Wow, that's really short, cool." Uh. I was just like, "Well, you don't have to see me, and it's my hair, so whatever." The later years, I then found a regular barber shop that I quite liked going to. They were a good price. They were nice people, and like they were the good type of people where you can kind of get a bit chatty with them. They had that kind of natural charisma i suppose which was nice because it was relaxing and i had some fun times where i like had photos of a hairstyle that i really liked so i was just like hi do you want to see some really cringe photos of me um here's the hair i want please and they did it quite well quite accurate based on like the three photos that i showed them so that was always good now fast forward to today when i'm living at home uh on the hill there near my house there are a couple of shops so i thought okay i'll try some out see how they go and um i've now settled on one but again it's still that awkward problem of trying to explain to them what it is specifically that you want so Normally I'm quite good at telling them or normally they're quite good at seeing how my hair looks long and just shortening it because basically that's what I want. My hair's kind of grown into the style I suppose that I like. I just need it taking back a couple inches because it does get quite long after five, six weeks. I know that's not a long period of time but my hair grows stupidly fast and another thing that they always point out is that my hair is thick with like five C's. So sometimes they have to get those like weird thinning scissors that don't actually cut length. They just cut some of the hair strands in between so it thins out your hair. Which is a hilarious thing because you know when you get older you your hair thins and you freak out. Whereas I'm just sat here like I need my hair thinner thanks. So yeah. Uh, the problem is this weekend I messed up. I went, I told them the number I like on the back and sides uh, and just said yeah take a bit off the top off my fringe. I like to have a little fringe so that I can sweep it to the side and style it and whatnot. And they did all that. That. And I thought, yeah, it looks good. I left. I was sat. I was stood in a store because I was buying some toothpaste because it was literally across the road. I was thinking, oh no, my fringe is too long. They haven't taken nearly emo- enough off my fringe. So I literally stood there for a solid minute, having this social anxiety debate with myself, of saying, you know, it's not going to be fun in a week or so, and your hair's too long again. Uh, but also now I have to go back in and awkwardly explain to them, like, yeah, I want more hair, please. I plucked up the courage eventually because I, I knew. I had to do it and like I paid right so in theory I have the right to do so. Walked back in awkwardly like uh yeah my fringe is a little bit long can you cut more please? Sat down cool off we go. Um they cut way more than I was expecting. (laughs) Um not that that's a bad thing. So like when I first when I left I was like oh my god this is really short like shorter than I think I'd ever normally go especially on top. Um but I thought you know it's kind of a good bit of utility because it means it will last it'll last longer now hopefully because it will grow out uh, it will take longer to grow to the point where i want to get it cut um but clearly whatever i'd said to get it shorter was uh not explicit enough because basically what i wanted was a little bit off the top and my fringe to be maybe cut in half but they probably cut my fringe down to like an inch uh very short uh comparatively compared to the rest of me so hey ho um it'll be fine it looks fine it's just that kind of shock of you're not used to it so yeah wow i've managed to talk quite a lot um let's chuck in a couple extra things because maybe i'll cut some of this out who knows um so i think i can safely say this now but last week it was my birthday Woo! Now, I'm not a big birthday person. I I don't particularly care too much. You know, as you get older, as you mature, I suppose, you just care less and less about it because it's not that big a deal. And plus, half the things that I want, personally, I can't ask people to buy me as gifts because they're just too expensive. Like, I can't ask someone to spend six, seven hundred pounds on a new tablet that I would like. That's just not sensible. So, to be honest, a meal and maybe it's just some time to myself would be nice. Uh, Which is what we did. Uh, My birthday was actually a Friday, so I had to end up working. Uh, The day was fine, I suppose. It wasn't anything particularly wild, and I didn't have to do too much while outside of my normal work. And then in the evening, I played some Smash Bros with a friend. That was really nice. The weekend on the Saturday, we went out for a meal, which was interesting it was an interesting place a little bit pricey but the food was nice and very good portion sizes that's the one thing like if the food was expensive at least had good portion sizes for the amount you paid also instead of buying a cake or something 
we went to the cheesecake solution. I think I talked about this the other week when I had uh, when I had my week off and I bought some red velvet cake from there. It was really good. My parents probably or my mum probably took that precedent and said, "Yeah, cool. We'll do the same thing." I got a piece of rainbow cake because yes, I, I am I am one hundred percent a millennial apparently oh no i think i'm a gen z weirdly based on when i was born but yeah it was really nice i thought that the frosting or the icing was actual icing but i think it was just sweetened whipped cream which is weirdly really nice on a cake it's much lighter than having a lot of dense sweet sugary ice cream ice cream icing so i enjoyed that and it was very nice and full of e-numbers i literally looked at the packaging and there were about 20 different e-numbers so that's hilarious yeah cake good E numbers, not good, but I mean, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, it was so big, right? I had to eat it in two sittings because it was that big. It looked bigger than a quarter. It looks more like a sick of the cake, but they only, not a quarter. It looked bigger than a slice, which I think their idea of a slice is about an eighth of their cakes. It looks more like a sick, I'll be honest. Um, But I think they only charged for a slice, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, this episode is going to be really long if I keep talking. I hope you've enjoyed listening, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.